Uh, my project is addressing one of the biggest environmental and socio-economic crises in Sri Lanka, which is human-elephant conflict. Actually, it's even been stated that human-elephant conflict is one of the is like the biggest man-made natural disaster in the country. So annually, it has a huge impact on people, on agriculture production, people's you know social life, their livelihood, children's education, nutrition, uh, gender issues, destabilizing families. So you can see that you know while you know its magnitude is immense and just the economic cost of human elephant conflict has been estimated to be 10 million US dollars per year. So it's a pretty big number, especially when you consider the, the, the level of the population that it impacts on. These are some of the most you know, remote, you know, rural, poor, socially marginalized people. So obviously, we can see from these uh, factors that human elephant conflict is a significant contributor to uh, keeping people in poverty in uh, social marginalization and depriving them from a sustainable livelihood. And that's what my project is about. It's called Project Orange Elephant because since we are working with agricultural communities, we had to find a solution through agriculture. You know, we couldn't go and change these farmers to be, you know, like software engineers or, you know, uh, you know give them technical skills. We had to use the skills they had already and the abilities they have and the resources they have and that's what the entire project is based on. The simple fact that it, you know, it works with what is there. We are not talking about technology transfer or giving any kind of capacity that the community can't continue to, you know, do, continue to, you know, carry on, carry forward. So Project Orange Elephants main objective is to develop economies that are not impacted by elephants. So this way, these farmers have an economy that is sustainable, renewable, and cost-effective.